Hi everyone, today's episode about the newly designed 2022 Infinity QX60. Let's start to talk about it a little more. The QX60 being Infinity's best-selling vehicle is obviously essential to the company. However, sales of the mid-sized three-row SUV peaked in 2018 at 74,370 units and newer competitors have exceeded in, in the terms of mechanical technology and interior execution. Infinity's cash cow required a makeover. Fortunately, after a short pause in 2021, the QX60 returns for the 2022 model year with a complete makeover that makes it a considerably more appealing prospect. Infinity has updated the previous generation Bulbo's external appearance with a more muscular look for the QX60. Graceful, intentional sheet metal undulation flow backward from the new model's grille, ending in a tweezer like treatment on the deep pillar. And you won't be able to miss a massive infinity writing spread across the tailgate. The new QX60's style was inspired by the Japanese minimalist concept of Ma, which emphasizes negative space or over orny touch, according to the senior design director Tisuka Nakamura. Though we wish that philosophy had also been applied to the folks chrome tailpipes in the rear bumper which look a little gaudy size-wise. The QX60 is now a little taller and shorter than previously but still has a 114.2 inch wheelbase. The ground clearance rises somewhat to 6.7 inches but this is still a pavement pounding utility vehicle. This mission is reinforced by slipping behind the wheel. A low step in high leads to a quiet cabin. According to the firm is now somewhat quieter around town thanks to a thicker side window glass and extra sound insulation. The completely renovated inside radiates unified elegance that the previous version lacked. The quilted stitching above the seats and dash in top tire autograph models blend well with the plethora of organic forms and other soft touch materials. With just the Lockster steering wheel trim detracting from the otherwise premium experience. Despite the fact that passenger volume has increased by approximately 10 cubic feet, Infinity has made effective use of the remaining space, making way for a purse size cubby under the center console, as well as a larger storage compartment in the door. While the optional matching front seats and the 10.8 inch color head up display are nice improvements, we are not crazy about the capacitive touch buttons for the radio and temperature control features which take a determined push to activate and while the improved technology in the new QX60 is long overdue there is still space for improvements wireless Apple CarPlay is available via new 12.3 inch touchscreen although mirroring Android smartphones will still require a connection surprisingly both interfaces can only take up the first two thirds of the touch screens with the remaining third dedicated only the showing of the audio source. Even though it's lesser platform made, the similarly redesigned Nissan Pathfinder features dedicated knob for volume and tuning. The QX60 makes do with only a small volume spinner. Unlike its interior platform made, the similarly updated Nissan Pathfinder which has separate volume and tuning knobs, the QX simply has a tiny volume spinner. The QX60's lone powertrain is Nissan Corporate 3.5 liter V6. It generates 295 horsepower at this setting. The engine has a high peak torque of 270 pound feet at 4,800 RPM. The previous CVT has been replaced by a new 9 speed automatic transmission, which distributes torque to either the front or all four wheels. Although this engine has a quite smooth in regular operation, pushing it near to its red line results in a guttural moan from beneath the hood. Fortunately, if you select the most aggressive sport driving mode, the transmission shifts smoothly and is eager to downshift 
in its default configuration. The 9 speed rushes to the top gear and loves to stay there unless nudged. The QX60 should reach 60 mph in the mid 6 second range, akin to the somewhat less powerful Pathfinder we just drove. With a fuel economy estimates of 21 mile per gallon city and 26 highway for front wheel drive version, the new QX60 is rating dropped by 1 mile per gallon on the highway while improving by the same amount in town subtract 1 mile per gallon in both categories for all wheel drive on the road the QX60 exhibits somewhat of a split personality Infinity has upgraded the suspension with double piston dampers to better control body motions but the result on the optional 20 inch wheels may be a touch too firm for some while this high inert sense of agility can be at odds with the action of the gnome lifeless steering we suspect that if prospective buyers can overlook this stiff ride they probably won't be bothered by the lack of steering feel the 2022 infinity qx60 will go on sale later this year the pricing is starting at 47875 dollars for the pure model and the standard panoramic moon roof power lift gate heated front seats and three zone automatic climate control. The outlay represents a $2,1500 increase over the base price of the 2020 model. All wheel drive is a $2,000 option on any trim level. Well, it's just like that. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below your idea about this car. And thanks for watching at the end of the video. Have a good day.